A Baltimore City police officer recovers at shock trauma this morning after being shot in Federal Hill, and the suspect has not been caught. WJZ is live in Federal Hill. Mike Shu explains what led up to the shooting. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, Lynn. The officer was shot around 930 last night, about a block from the Cross Street Market. Here's what happened after that officer tried to pull over a suspected drunk driver. The traffic stop in Fed Hill unraveled quickly, going from trying to stop a suspected drunk driver to a foot chase to police flooding the area after one of their officers is shot and whisked away to nearby shock trauma. The officer, believing that the driver was perhaps driving intoxicated, attempted to stop the vehicle. The vehicle fled upon the officer activating his lights and siren and drove a few blocks, went through a few intersections. The officer followed until the car crashed into a parked car in the area. The driver of that vehicle exited the vehicle after the vehicle crashed and began to flee on foot. The officer ran to try to catch him, but police say the man turned and fired, hitting the officer in his lower abdomen. BPD says the shooter then carjacked a blue Toyota Camry to escape and possibly jacked a second vehicle after that. What we believe, but is not confirmed, is that a second car was carjacked for this subject to make good of his escape. Once again, that has not been confirmed, but there is information to make us believe that at this time. The shooter's whereabouts are unknown. The commissioner has this plea. What we need more than ever is for anyone who saw something, heard something, and knows something to please call us right away. There is a su suspect on the loose who is armed and dangerous. Police uh, radio traffic of the incident shows that the officer was helped by another officer into his squad car and was quickly driven the 15 blocks to shock trauma. I'm Mike Shue reporting live in Fed Hill for WJZ. Mike, thank you. Let's go live to that shock trauma with more details about the officer's condition. Good morning, Amy. Good morning, Lynn. After the officer was shot, he was brought here to shock trauma. The city FOP says the officer is alert and talking and is suffering from a non-life-threatening injury to the abdomen. Thank God our officer is okay, and we have to commend him for his bravery. A Baltimore City officer is recovering in shock trauma after being shot Tuesday night in Federal Hill. The police commissioner says the officer was wearing a bulletproof vest, which likely saved his life. I have spoken to Dr. Scalia, who's given a good report saying that the officer is well, that the bullet likely grazed the side of his abdomen and went in and out and not hit any organs and is likely to be treated without surgery. The Baltimore City Fraternal Order of Police tweeted, the officer suffered a non-life-threatening injury and is alert and talking. They also tweeted that shock trauma advised the department that members shouldn't go to the hospital because of coronavirus concerns and restrictions. The police commissioner says he hasn't met with the officer due to those protocols, but says the officer is doing well. Our Major Gaines has spoken to the officer. The officer is in good spirits, gave Major Gaines a thumbs up. Um, but we're following the health hospital protocol because of the COVID pandemic right now. And when the time is appropriate, we will be able to be face to face with our officer. And once again, we're told the officer has sustained a non life threatening injury. He will likely not need surgery. And the police commissioner says a bulletproof vest most likely saved his life. Reporting live from shock trauma this morning, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.